Hey guys, and welcome back to Signalis. Let's continue, shall we? We are in some kind of weird, seemingly abandoned uh, facility of some description. We've discovered we're probably not on Earth, and we have some dead robot units with some kind of infection dribbling out of them, which is not fantastic. Oh, there's another one here. Another dead eel unit. Why was she abandoned here? She was abandoned? Are they supposed to pick up their dead? I don't know. Well, this place looks different. An aperture card microfilm viewer. If I had an aperture card, okay. Hmm. Is there anything we can use here? A simple first aid kit. I can't use any of these since they're not not designed for replicas. Okay, so there are supplies here for humans. I guess. Nothing that we can use yet though. Now the doors are kind of hard to see, but they are there. Let me read that one. Yeah, that was about the wall safe codes. We read that one. Okay, so we can't go down there. Ooh. No running in the hallways. No running in the hallways. Be mindful of your neighbors. Everybody can hear you run. Now, there's a tip. You run, enemies and things can hear you. And if enemies find you, you're going to have a bad time. So there's the wall safe that we've heard so much about. The one that um, is malfunctioning. I wonder if the code's going to be the same. Let's find out, shall we? Ooh, hello. An Elsa unit? You should leave this place. This facility is lost. Turn back before it's too late. I'm looking for this woman. Have you seen her? I don't know her, but she might be one of the workers. Interesting. All Gestalt workers were sent to the mine below the facility. If she's still alive, she's probably down there. Okay. There's an access elevator to the mine shaft, one level below, but you'll need an administrator's key to use it. Hmm. Interesting. Well, we've got the protector key. I guess that's going to do us for now. I'll be out of here as soon as this repair patch stops my bleeding. You should get out of here too. I don't know what that woman... I don't know who that woman is, but she's probably dead by now. If you still want to go, good luck. Thanks, Star. So we can't go through there. We need the classroom key. So there is another replica, and she's at least somewhat alive. Which is interesting. Okay. So there's still some other rooms here that we can search, apparently. With our friend Star. Just. Oh no, they're blocked. Right, we actually have to examine doors before they're marked as blocked. That makes sense. There we go. Well, hopefully, Star, you don't bleed to death and you get out of here in one piece. Alright, let's hit the save. I love these um, PC games that uh, allow you to transfer your progress to your console. I think all games should do that, but hey, all games within reason anyway. I think if any game is on the Microsoft Store and it's on the Xbox and the PC, it should have cross saves, 100%. Man, that would make my gaming life easier anyway. Okay, so we've got ourselves a new keycard. Let's go and use it. Oh, this is cute. 
nice, I don't want to say cozy looking office, but you know, relative, relatively speaking. Now, what have we got here? Oh, hello. We'll certainly be taking the pistol. And the aperture card. Excellent. Type 45. Protect. So this is for the protector. So the Type 45 pistol is a short recoil, recoil operated locked breech semi-automatic pistol chambered in 10 by 20 millimeter. That's a 10 millimeter pistol. Nice. This reliable, versatile handgun is standard issue sidearm for Aeon Protector controller staff. Replica users, remember to first equip the Type 75 pistol in the inventory screen to designate the pistol as your primary weapon for the targeting module. Right, yeah, so it just tells us how to use it. Remember, do not waste ammunition, for it is a, res a resource for the nation. When a target is down, try to finish it off by kicking or hitting with a baton to preserve ammunition. Yeah, this is so basically, you kind of think Silent Hill, you shoot the enemies a little bit and then you can uh, walk up and squish their corpse. However, enemies don't appear to stay dead. Um, if we look at this manual here. Uh, so, when an enemy is critically wounded, they will fall to the ground. Before they can get back up, run up to the enemy and finish it off by pressing A to save ammo. Look out, even finished enemies may recover if Elsa loiters too long in one area. So I guess that means I haven't seen an enemy get back up again. Uh, but I guess that means they do, uh, you know, if we don't leave. I'm not really sure how it works, but whatever. Anyway, I guess we should probably equip our handgun. So the aiming is pretty good. It works kind of how you'd expect, really. You hold down the left trigger to equip the gun and then aim in the general direction. The game also aims to enemies as well, uh, and you will get a targeting box over the enemy. And the longer you hold it, the more accurate your shots are. So anyway, we also found something else. Oh. Somebody over there is twitching. Yep, we've got a twitcher. <laughs> We're not going to fight her, though. Ooh, hello. Guess so. Oh, oh, hello. Hello yourself. You don't belong here either, do you? I'm Isa. Isa Itu, or Itu? Itau? You should be careful, there's something wrong with this place. I don't know what happened, but it's probably dangerous to go any further. That's okay, I understand. I have something I need to do too. Take care. I hope you find who you're looking for. So she has murdered something there. Very sus, but whatever. She was obviously came here looking for supplies. Erica, if you find this note, despite everything that's happened, I've come to look for you. So, Issa is looking for Erica. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, let's use our Apsha card. This wall safe complies with Eurasian public safety equipment regulations and features a high density uh, craft stroll <laughs> door lock uh, or door secured with a numeric keypad. Proudly produced on a uh, high mat. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Instructions for use. Enter the code using the keypad. Press the confirm key in the lower right corner. If correct, a green light will light up. Rotate the dial on the left to open the door. To clear any previously entered digits, press E in the lower left. First time set up. Enter the factory default code 204512 to open the safe. While the door is open, enter the, desire, uh, enter the desired new code in the keypad. Press and hold the confirm key for 10 seconds until the green light lights up. However, we know this 
is defective. There's nothing here. Something is very wrong with this place, though. Now, notice that that woman that walked off actually had proper feet. So, I guess it's just because we're a robot. Alright. So, let's get out of here. So, these are the only enemies I've found in the game so far. And as you can see, they're really not a threat. Uh, at least, they're not a threat so far. So, you know. Let's keep going anyway. So, I've already forgotten the code. Uh, but no matter, because we remember everything here. So, it's 204512. Alright. 20, 40, f ah, shit. Well, that's fuck that, isn't it? 20, 40, 5, 12. Excellent. So what do we have? That is a serious lock on that thing. Got a key card. Classroom key. Okay. Well, that's good. Let's get out of here. Now, enemies don't appear to follow us. From room to room. At least nothing that I've found yet, which is good. That looks like our friend Star made it out of here. We'll grab a repair patch too. And another magazine. Definitely. Now, you can only hold 10 rounds in the gun, and then you have to reload. And, uh, our inventory is going to start becoming an issue here because we can only hold 6 items. Literally, you can hold 6 items. And that's it. Ammo stacks, I believe, but I don't know how much ammo stacks in one slot. This inventory system is brutal, from what I can understand. And it's one of the things that people really didn't like about the game. Uh, couple that with the fact that there is a long wait between uh, item rooms. <laughs> but I can't comment because I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. Anyway, there's a nice big hole in the floor here. There's a hole in the ground. It looks like I can drop down safely. Drop down the hole? Yeah, sure. What's the worst that could happen? So these... Pre Protector droids, or whatever the hell they are, they seem to be uh, going rogue and slicing everybody up. That's not exactly fantastic. Right. Let's start exploring, shall we? So we need. Unlocked from the other side. Okay. So this is basically as far as I got to. I got a little bit further than this, but this is basically it. So now we're flying blind again. Any ooh. So service request form. Date of filing service request form. Full protector. So that's Star, the replica. Okay. So her status is a guard. And she's stationed at the worker quarters. Service object. Um, automatic security door. Location of uh, object worker block A6 corridor. The lock on the staff door in A6 is jammed again. Requesting a locksmith. Electronics reset key is nowhere to be found. I set up a lock picking kit. The management bumped the elevator engines up in priority. So next shift we'll have to pick the lock. It's just trial and error at this point. Find me if you need a key to open the service latch. 
or ask management, whatever. So, I'm guessing these robots also have downtime. It looks like they are kind of considered humans. These replicants. They're not just forced to work 24-7. Kick them while they're down. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I hear ya. We'll be kicking them whilst they're down. Okay, so we have a diary. Elena's diary. Feeling a little lightheaded today. I hope it's not that new flu that seems to be going around. I can't afford to miss any more shifts. That storch at the factory was chewing me out for what felt like hours for fainting at work last time I got a cold. I haven't seen Elsa the last few days. I hope she's okay. More and more people go missing in the mine lately, including, including replicas. Not even protectors seem to be safe. Interesting. Yeah, so it looks like these humans and whatnot and robots are kind of living in somewhat harmony, I guess. Everybody seems to be equal. Which is interesting. I like it. I'm a fan. So, we need a key. Service hatch key is required. Gotcha. Oh, definitely found one of those before. Let's keep checking out these corridors. See what we can find. Amongst the trash. The elevator is out of order. Yeah, I guess there's not much that can be done there. Look at all this trash everywhere too. And I don't know if anyone's manning these cameras. Let's see if there's anything in this elevator. Another first person. I do like these first person viewpoints. I really do. They remind me of very old kind of 3D FMV sort of visuals, but fully interactable. Or interactive, I should say, which is really cool. So elevator controls locked. Insert protector identification. Okay, so we Yeah, I can't do anything with any of this stuff. Alright. But we do have a service hatch key. Which we absolutely will be taking. So at least we found that. Um, can we leave? Yeah. Right. So we got ourselves a service hatch key. That's locked. West key wing required. We can't go down there. Right. Okay. So let's use the service hatch key. Notice how we're on an entirely new floor. And as of yet, we haven't found a save room. But no matter. Let's get the service hatch key used. Now, this bit is kind of cool. So we have to uh, lockpick this area. So if we use the function, we can see... There's the actual lock picking tool. I love this high tech lock picking device. It's so cool. Um, luckily, we have like a X ray machine going in there scanning the lock. So, all we have to do is identify what's going on here. So, I think we need to pull that tooth in a little bit. Yep. That tooth needs to come up a little bit as well. This looks like it's random. It needs to come up a little bit more. Because that I don't think that's the same as last time I played this. There we go. Oh, no. We're not quite out. What's out? Ah, this one. Second tooth is still slightly out of alignment. Oh, it needs to go further down. There we go. I really <laughs> thought that was cool. I really like that. Alright, so. More doors. Need a key. Yeah. Well, 
Oh, some kind of box. The box is locked. Looks like it requires some sort of square shaped key. Okay, we'll have to bear that in mind. Square shaped key. Medical area, I guess. Ah, we have a save room. With a replicant repair patch, we'll have that. Now, here, this is the storage box. Now, probably going to want to store some stuff. Let's store the photo. I don't think we really need the photo on us. We do need the gun and the ammo. Probably the health as well. Like I say, I'm not really sure how deadly the enemies are going to be. But I'm sure we're going to find out. <laughs> we're definitely going to find out. Okay, hopefully Windows isn't going to keep throwing up annoying things all over the screen. So what have we got here? More 10mm ammo? Yes. East Winky. Very nice. Definitely going to need that. So, memo ma uh, memo uh, Memorandium. It has come to my attention that at least one worker might be aware of the code broadcasting frequencies for the protector's wall safes. Any workers connected to this leak are to be interrogated until the culprit is found. So, Adler. So, it looks like the protectors are kind of in charge. Which is interesting. They're kind of like robotic guards. But not necessarily for the safety of the people. If you catch my meaning. Disposable stun prod. That sounds fun. Electrical imp impulse device. Due to recent events, all facility staff members are encouraged to familiarize themselves with the use of electro-impulse devices. We've been supplied with a shipment of IG-2 disposable stun prods for training purposes. Please refer to the enclosed handbook for more information. Okay, the stun prod is a single-use, short-range, disposable, non-lethal solution for incapacitating non-cooperative individuals. It can be equipped into the tool slot in the inventory screen. Once equipped, it will be shown on the lower left of the inventory screen. Uh, the IG-2 stun prod can be used with one hand whilst on the move and even whilst aiming another weapon. Once equipped, to use the stun prod, simply put, yeah, okay. Warning, high voltage electric discharge may arc to individuals close to the target. Ooh. Use with care. Do not deploy on elderly, pregnant, or individuals with known heart disease unless absolutely necessary. Dispose of stun prod properly after use. Interesting. Yeah, we'll certainly be having a little bit of that. So we've got another safe to play with. However, ooh. I don't think we have any codes for that. Interrogation report. Subject, worker, Chen Wilhelm. Offense, contraband found in locker. Result, confession. Punishment, no food, three cycles. Oof, I don't know what a cycle is. I guess that's a day. Subject, worker, Wong. Okay. Illegal use of radio, confession. Ooh, ISO, two cycles. I guess that's isolation. Worker, Wong, Wolfgang. Illegal use of radio. Expired during interrogation. Punishment none. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Uh, obscenity to the state. Passed out during interrogation. Punishment. Double work shift. Two cycles. So this is definitely an authoritarian kind of <laughs> oppressive situation we've got going on. Think Red Faction. Oof. Huang. Trespassing. Expired during interrogation. Punishment none. Bloody hell. The Wonder Waffen. Super weapons of our nation in the battle against the Empire. Bulk units of 
Spike units? Okay. Is that what we are? Hmm. Replicants of some some description, I guess. Right, so anyway, we've got the east... Is it the east wing? So, that's the north corridor. South corridor. I guess there's an east corridor down there. Or it could be to that door, I guess. Or that door. Because obviously east is this way. Alright, well, let's see what we can do. There we go. It was for this one. So this is all unknown territory for me now, guys. Oh, this looks ominous. Ooh. Oh, yeah. We'll take the repair patch. Cool. The stool is locked. Is someone inside? Hmm. I guess someone might be inside. But they could also be, you know, dead or something. Right, well, let's keep exploring. The atmosphere of this game is so bloody good, honestly. What do we have here? A repair spray. Sounds like something that we could use, but is that for us? Or a single-use spray gun filled to fill damaged areas with polyurethane-based expanding foam. Ah, right. So that's actually a healing item for us. Okay. Alright, well, we shall take it. And three bullets as well. Definitely want the bullets. How many bullets are we up to now? We must actually have a somewhat good stock. We've got 27 bullets. Now, I don't know if that's a good amount of ammo. But, whatever. Ah, we can go through there. Ooh. Well, ain't this cute. Looks like the chef's in. So we need the Mensa key. So I'm guessing as long as we walk, we're not going to bother anyone. Let's have a little look around the pantry. So, full put Right. So that was Erla. So my mapping module is still defective and won't show any map data. I keep getting lost on my way to work and back. I had to sleep in a hallway last cycle because I couldn't find the staff elevator to get to my dorm. Please, I can't find my way around this place without a map. So... So replica units do need to sleep then. Curious. Alright, well, we've got a bad nick over there. No entry. Ah, Mensa key. Well, that was easy. Alright. Oh, let's not anger the locals. Not if we don't have to. No need pissing people off for the fun of it. Ooh. This place looks... This place looks pretty gribbly. Let's creep around slowly. Four bullets. Definitely take the bullets. All right, let's run. <laughs> okay. So it does look like we don't have to engage the... Ooh, Christ. We don't seem to need to engage enemies. Ooh. Let's 
Unless we have to. Alright. West Wing key. Sure. Who are you? Storch. You don't look like you belong here. So Storch is the one that was having a go at that other person. You're an Elsa unit, right? This facility is currently on lockdown. You shouldn't be here. I'm the protector controller on duty on this level. I don't know what kind of business you have here. But as you can probably see, we've got bigger issues right now. Okay, so she looks like she's wielding a shotgun. If you're looking for the commander, I have bad news for you. She got sick. Everybody else is getting sick too. That's really all I know about it. I'm sure the administrator knows more, but who knows where he is. I'm not going out there. I'm waiting here for new orders. Until then, I'm not taking any risks. Okay, so... Yeah. I'm I'm really invested in this universe now. I really want to know more about these protectors and whatnot, and like what these AI guys are like. They seem to have some kind of fear and you know emotions. I, I like it. I'm enjoying it. I'm really enjoying this. From work shift controller to night shift controller. Due to recent events, some security technicians will be serving both work shifts and night shifts. Affected guard units, star, star, oh, so the, all the star units and the controller units. Until an effective treatment is found, all reinforcements are sent from helmet or Hymet. We we'll all have to stay strong and do our best to keep the facility secure. Failure is not an option, so that's from Storch. Please keep an eye on the administrator unit. Since the incident, he's been acting stranger than usual. Without the commander to keep him in check, we'll have to ask uh, Colbury for help. We don't know who Colbury is. Okay. Alright, Storch. You stay here and hold the fort down. Maybe this is some kind of retribution for her, like, shouting at someone for passing out because they were sick. Right, so we can't go through there. Come on, you. Yeah, Mum. That's it. Ooh. Got a nasty little hit on us, then. Door is locked. That was... non-pleasant. Let's say how much... Okay, we're on caution health now. Broken key. Ah. Is it worth taking this uh, robot out? Work a bathroom. I mean, we've got 30 bullets. Not sure if 30 bullets is good. Although, she's over there now, so. We can unlock the door from this side. Ooh. Right. Oh, God. Okay, this could be an issue. Might have to fight our way through here. Yep. So those guys... Ooh. See, the thing is, if we die, we lose a lot of progress here. But we're going to have to get through them. Okay, run. Let's see if we can... Okay, that's fine. I mean, it's not really that fine. Oh, God. Let's see if we, right, can we, okay, so it doesn't take a lot of bullets to kill these guys, like literally a couple of shots to bring them down, that's worth knowing. 
But as we know, they've got a horrible, or so we've read anyway, they've got a horrible uh, way of getting back up. So, let's drop that. These stun prods, like, I'm not sure about these stun prods. I guess we're going to drop those for now. Um, West Wing Key we're going to use. I mean, I guess it probably makes sense to keep these repair patches on us. We're going to need some kind of health. And we need to go back and get that key as well. But that's going to have to wait for the next episode. Because we're out of time. I like this. This is good. This is like proper old school. Well, not exactly old school, but this is like proper um, survival horror. It kind of feels like you, you want to be a little bit careful with your resources just because you don't know how far they've got to go. Right? Um, you don't know how good the guns are. It's interesting that there's still guys alive here and they've decided to just button down. There's some kind of zombie thing affecting the robots. I don't know if it's affecting just the robots. Um, I, I don't know. Because it says about the administrator and, you know, people acting funny. But you don't know, is the mis, mis, uh, administrator a robot as well? I don't know. I don't know. There's loads of unknowns here. But I'm enjoying it. Really enjoying it. And I hope you guys are too. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.